Here are my top 10 countries that you should visit after COVID-19. Hi, my name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel tips and gratitude. Let's start with New Zealand. New Zealand is one of the safest and corona-free places in the world. On June 9, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announced the lifting of pandemic lockdown in the country. They declared the region corona-free. However, there are still border restrictions and closures, policy implementations in the country. And on June 6, the Vatican City declared that there were no more coronavirus cases in the region. According to the resources, 12 patients were recovered from the pandemic. The city-state didn't reveal the news of the death. The place stands second safest place to move in the world after COVID-19. The third is Montenegro. There were 324 cases of COVID-19 and the first case was reported on March 17. However, the state overcame the situations and declared the place corona-free on March 17. It was indeed a challenging task of the government, but the states addressed it very well. Papua New Guinea declared that the state was corona-free on the 4th of May. The first case of COVID-19 was reported on March 20th. The government tackled the situations very efficiently. It enforced strict lockdown, night curfew, and ban on public gatherings. Eritrea is located in the East African region. On May 15th, it had zero cases of COVID-19. The first case was returned from Norway. In April, the lockdown was enforced in the country. However, the state declared free from pandemic on the 15th of May. Seychelles is another place where two cases were reported on May 14th. The population strength is no less than 97,096. However, the reported cases were 11 only. The region is one of the least affected areas in the world. Initially, it was challenging to control the spread of pandemic. Finally, they managed to control it successfully. Fiji reported the first case of pandemic on the March 19. The country imposed a 15-day mandatory quarantine for its citizens. Also, all educational institutions were closed. There were only 18 cases of COVID-19 reported in the region. On the 20th of April, all patients were recovered and the country was cleared and declared corona-free. St. Kitts and Nevis became pandemic-free on May 19, but initially 15 cases were reported. It faces its first case on March 24. All schools and businesses were closed during lockdown. Finally, they declared themselves as COVID-free. East Timor is located in South Asia. The first case were reported on March 21. There was strict lockdown in the states. All public gatherings were banned. Schools were closed as well. However, the situation was under control after adopting quarantine and tight lockdown. On June 7, Tanzania was declared a pandemic-free state. There were no less than 509 cases in the region. And finally, the president has declared the part corona-free. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.